you know, I, I think it's, it's really humbling to go out um, and you have to keep an open mind too. You know, you, you're never, you never should feel like you're the smartest person in the room, right? Because if you start doing that, then you're, you have a whole, whole other issue. But that was probably the biggest transition for me. And the biggest shock was, you know, just moving from that role into now this role of an expert. But then also, I mean this in the nicest way. <laughs> I was surprised how much people didn't know. Um, so what I had learned at West Virginia, and I know, you know, academia and real life practice completely different. Um, nothing, nothing is a substitute for experience, but I was going out teaching people about basic light theory principles. And I was asked the same question. I asked this in the webinar, how would you explain fluorescence to a jury? And I would say probably 90% of people I speak to cannot give me a solid answer. And I mean, fluorescence is, you know, a general principle practice across all forensic disciplines. And what do you mean? People don't, don't understand how to explain it. It just comes second nature. So especially to us now, we talk, talk about it every day. So it's a little bit different, but I was just shocked how much people didn't know. And I just kind of made it my mission. I was like, I'm going to be the one that teaches them. I'm going to make sure by the time I'm done, people understand how to talk about this. So yeah. I think that was, that was probably my biggest shock. 